new charges against a so-called mystic who has a connection to a mother who's been missing for weeks. Just one station there as he went into the jail. Just days after he was arrested for lying to a federal officer, he's now being charged with kidnapping her young son. 70 Colin Salada has more on this major mystery. Shannon, what happened to Leela? Shannon know? Ryan headed into the Broward County Jail, didn't have anything to say to 7 News reporter Jessica Holly Monday, unlike August 9th when he seemed pretty talkative on Facebook. We have a missing woman. And I gave the police everything that I know. Everything. Ryan hasn't been shy on social media, posting his whereabouts, like this shopping center in Fort Lauderdale Thursday night, where one clerk who did not want to be identified says she almost called the police after encountering him. He started yelling and cursing and calling us all kind of names. Well, when he called, when he called with us the B word, that's when I was just like, you know what, I'm over it. It's been about two weeks since Ryan says he met up with 21-year-old Layla Cavett in Hollywood to buy her truck. He claims he was with her at this racetrack gas station when she abruptly left. It's some guys in a car that she talking to. Layla got her and her son and got in the car with those guys. But according to the FBI, surveillance cameras in the area did not show her leaving with other men, and Ryan's car was captured by security cameras in Miramar. In the same area and around the same time, Layla's two-year-old son was found roaming alone. The FBI says Ryan used a friend's debit card at the Walmart next to the racetrack, buying trash bags, duct tape, and carpet odor remover. His cell phone showed a search for what day does commercial garbage pick up for Hollywood, Florida? And does bleach and alcohol make chloroform? Inside Layla's truck, agents say they recovered shovels with small droplets of a red substance on them. Now, Ryan is charged with one count of kidnapping for taking and abandoning Layla's son. Layla still missing, all of which is unsettling to that clerk in Fort Lauderdale. That knowing somebody like that was so close and within range of me, which is very shocked and surprised. And Ryan is expected back in court on Friday. Reporting in Hollywood, Nicole Insalata for Today in Florida.